guys, you guys wanted to, or someone requested a bomb painting video, so I'm going to do a quick one. What I do is I obviously have two little containers. I normally use alcohol. I'm going to attempt. I've heard people do it with glycerin, so I'm going to try glycerin too. But we're just going to try the alcohol first. And you can use charcoal. I'm going to use black. Oh, maybe that's not black. I have a black mica somewhere. I think this is black. There we go. So I have a black mica. Just take your little container. Put a little bit of black mica in here. I'm just going to... Oh, come on. There we go. I'm just going to do a couple of eyes, if I can. Yes, Shani, we know you're there. Okay, so we're just going to put a little bit of mica in there. You don't need a lot, but I will put a bit more than that. Okay. Some people use tooth... Or toothbrushes. Some people use paint brushes. I like to use a Q-tip. It goes on nicer. I have mica all over my hands. So that means the bombs are going to be covered. <laughs> okay, so this is 90%, even though it says... 70, I just put 90% in the bottle. So, I have it in here. You just put a bit of alcohol, and I should have probably added the alcohol first so it doesn't poof up. But you just add your alcohol in there. Take your Q-tip. Yeah, that's probably too much alcohol. Or not enough mica, one of the two. So anyways, basically... Yeah, that was probably too much. I don't know if you guys can see that. So basically, you want it to be like a paste. This is probably too watery. Hopefully, this is 70%, and I don't make my bomb activate. But basically, there's your mica on your little Q-tip. We'll take a Mr. Minion here. And it's as simple, if I can do this without activating, as drawing around. And you have to press sometimes because it kind of wants to stick in. Q-tips I find work way better than a brush. A brush you're kind of like pushing and pushing. Q-tip holds the, the color better. And if it starts fading, just add a bit more. You don't want to hold it in one spot too long because it'll start making your bomb powdery. And yes, I know this is supposed to be silver. I can go over it with a silver mica after. So this guy's obviously only got one goggle. And then we go around like that. And we go around on this side. Am I in the right spot? So you just put more on your Q-tip. It's almost virtually dry already. Normally, you could go all the way around. You don't have to. But we might as well. We probably won't meet it up in the back. <laughs> See? <laughs> I'm not the world's greatest artist now when it comes to doing this, but... I mean, you can get so creative. So that's it. Alcohol. The high percent alcohol is the best. Um, because it doesn't activate your bomb, like I said. And see if your Q-tip just gets dry. Just stick it back in the mica mix here, and away you go. You want me to do another one? I'll do another one. Oh, I just made that way too fat. So, there's one. And it is pretty much dry. Alright, let's do this one. I was going to try... Do you want me to try glycerin? We know the alcohol works. Let's try a glycerin. Well, let's do one more alcohol one first. And then we'll try glycerin. I have never done glycerin before. I usually always just do alcohol. Just because it evaporates so fast. And it doesn't activate the bomb. I don't think... I'm not really sure. I don't think glycerin will activate your bomb. But I just... I worry about it not drying fast enough. That would be my concern. But I've heard people have good luck with it. So... We're going to try that theory. And yeah, this probably could have been silver, but I can go over this again with silver. So yeah, you just keep putting your, your little Q-tip into the alcohol. 
um, make a mix and alcohol will evaporate like I said really fast so as you can see when I put it on it literally almost dries instantly and I know that's not the neatest picture here like I said these are for a family friend so I'm not I mean I don't even think they care if they were drawn on or not drawn on they didn't say they just more or less wanted the toy <laughs> but the kids love the, the the minions so let's see if we can line it up oops his eyeball just fell did you see that his eye just fell out well I can put that back in with a bit of melt and pour <laughs> He lost his eye! So, there we go. There's that. Let's see if we can put his eyeball back in. Got a little bit blue, eh, from the color. It's strange how that worked, because it wasn't anywhere near the blue mix. I'll just put that back in for now. Like I said, he'll be in a package, and that's fine. But there he's done. Now let's try a glycerin one, shall we? Why not? I said I was going to do a glycerin one. Let's do a glycerin one. So basically... This is new to me, so if we just take a teeny tiny bit of glycerin, whoop, and that's probably way too much, considering I only have, what, three minions to do, if I even like how it works. So basically, again, you just get the mica, and I'll tell you if I like this method or not, because I'm more of an alcohol type person, so, well, that's probably way too much mica. Anyways, there it is. It's in. Make sure this is done up, because I would hate... I would hate to spill my mica. Oh, that would make me cry. I got those from Nurtures. So then you mix it in the glycerin. And I don't think it'll be a waste. Like I said, you can use this for something else. Um, people do put glycerin in their bombs, so I've been finding out, which is something I really want to try, actually doesn't mix in as good as um, the alcohol and this is actually more like a paste watch me foof it up all over my face okay so let's mix this boat as much as I'm gonna mix it for where I'm gonna dip my q-tip anyway all right so we'll wipe off the excess get another q-tip Put this down here. Let's get a bomb. Should we get one? Let's get Mr. Speckle Dude because if I screw it up, he's not a very handsome looking bomb anyway. So if he looks funny, then I won't worry about it. So same idea. And like I said, this is the first time I've ever used um, glycerin and mica. So I did the same thing. Dump my Q-tip in. Make sure your bomb is like not powdery or dry. And you basically... Oh yeah, this doesn't work as good. It's trying to make my balm powdery. Okay guys, I suggest don't use glycerin. See, it's what it's doing is, if you can see that, it's actually, you can see it's stuck on my Q-tip. It's actually lifting up the balm. So I don't, um, I don't advise using glycerin. There you go. Alcohol. I don't know, I haven't, I mean, I've never talked to anybody who's done the glycerin. They've just said they've used glycerin. Um, there you go. Better luck with alcohol. It's sort of activated the bomb now because of the glycerin, but we'll go where it's not activated. Yeah, definitely. Definitely stick with your 91. This is 99 alcohol. Like I said, the higher you can get it, the better because it's not going to activate your bomb. So we're just going to go around. You can see, I think you can see it right there is where I put the glycerin the first time and it's um it's activated a little bit so I'll see if I can carve it up alcohol you don't have to worry about it but like I said if you're gonna end up using the 50% or the 70% your bomb's gonna activate so don't even don't even attempt to try that it's gotta be 91 or higher like I said mine is 99 and if your mix starts like drying up just blast another blast of alcohol in there get it wet again and go for broke just keep on going it goes on so much easier I suggest a q-tip instead of a paintbrush paintbrushes are a pain in the arse they they just you have to when you do a paintbrush you're like constantly doing this you're not actually drawing you're basically doing this and it to me it doesn't work as easy as just sort of 
drawing it on. Did I ever screw that one up? Wow. He's cockeyed. But that's okay. Like I said, he was the funny looking one. Maybe I'll keep this one. Well, I lined up the back, but I didn't do the front very good. And if it's not great looking, like, if it's a little bit kind of like, you know, your lines aren't straight or whatever, just go back on it. It's not going to hurt anything. Like I said, it's alcohol. It's not, it's not like you're adding moisture to your bombs. So, and I'm going to give this guy, actually, let's turn the Q-tip. I was going to give him some hair, but I need the other end of the Q-tip because this end's all wonky. So I'll use the end I haven't used yet. My hands are filthy now. So I'm going to use the other end of the Q-tip. And I'm just going to give him some little bits of hair. That's what I didn't do to the other guy either. I didn't give him any hair. So, there, he's got a little bit of hair. Kind of funny. I guess he needs a smile, too. We'll give him a funny. There. Now he's got a funny face. So anyways, you get the idea. Do it neater than I did. But I was just trying to show you. So forget the... Forget the glycerin. It's going to activate your bomb. And it's just not worth it. But like I said too, you don't have to just do faces. You can do designs with any color of mica. You can actually just start doing like swirly swirly cues on here. I could actually... Why not? I'm going to try something on here. Just because this one's mine. Because it's a hand molded one. I am going to make him into a minion. Why not? So like I said, it's just basically... You're basically just drawing on with the Q-tip. It's easy peasy. There's no special tricks. For every color you want, just do a little container. Um, just remember you'll have to probably keep adding alcohol and then eventually you'll have to add... Um, you'll have to eventually add more mica because you're going to use it up obviously, but... This guy goofy. He's sad. Shani, can you please set up Dad's thing? I don't want to miss his mash. Okay, so there you go. You get the idea. I'm a little dirty. But there's the funny one. So yeah, you just, it, like, forget the glycerin one. If you look at it, it's all like thick and goopy and it, it just didn't work so save this for your melt and pour soap um alcohol as you can see it's already dry so that's your best bet is to use the alcohol but there's the dude the dominion and he doesn't have a mouth either damn 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 i keep forgetting their mouths just give him a little one yeah, see, if you had a smaller Q-tip, you could do it neater than this. But there's lots of people who have more drawing talent than I do. Plus, I'm in a hurry. But <laughs> there you go. There's the little minion. So use alcohol. All it is is alcohol, mica. I haven't used lakes. I like mica. If you don't have black mica, you can use charcoal, like activated charcoal. That's fine. But, I mean, you can get so creative. You can put any color you want on your bomb. Any design. Oh, and that reminds me. I have one more thing I'm going to try. Just give me one second. I also have mica in a spray bottle with alcohol. And I'm hoping that this is 90% because I can't remember. But you get the idea. Let's see if we can get that screen up. Please say the sprayer is going to work. There we go. And we're going to give him some funny hair. It's almost empty. So, now he's a redhead. <laughs> but you get the idea. Like, this is copper, so you could put any color. If you had a really cool-looking bomb, let's see if we can get the copper color coming out instead of just the wet color. A little low. That's the problem. This is, by the way, you can laugh at me, but it's a self-bronzer. Um, it's temporary, obviously. Um, I believe it's either alcohol and witch hazel, something like that, so, um, it's more alcohol because the witch hazel activates, but, yeah, it was a, 
um, a self bronzer just so I can show you. There's better recipes you can look up online for self, -bron self bronzers, but. And then the alcohol evaporates, um, and you're left with this kind of a shimmer bronzy type um, fake tan look. I wouldn't do it all the time because you can, it, you know, if you spray too much, it gets blotchy, but I don't know if you can see the difference. The, the alcohol will evaporate and you'll get, you know, the bronzy color, but, and I, I used to use this when I did soaps. I would put a spray of, because you have to spray your soaps so they don't get ash, but I used to put like um, different colored micas in here and I'd spray the top so you get that kind of a, a metal effect with black, you do black mica, bronze metal, or bronze mica, silver metal. And it looks like it's a metal soap. It's, yeah, something to play with. But anyways, there you go. It's evaporated. I don't know if you can tell by the color in here. But it's like a a bronzer. And it's, it, yeah, you'll touch everybody and they'll all get gold, copper. <laughs> but it was just something I was playing with. So I will work on that one. But yeah, so you can do anything to your bombs with alcohol and mica. I hope that helps. If you guys have any questions, just... Give me a shout, and I think I have to go wrap these because they're dry, and it's supposed to rain today, and I don't want them to blow up. All right? Thanks for watching, guys. I will talk to you later. Oh, yeah. Did you see? I'm back. I got him back. Yay! <laughs> Anyways, talk to you later.